Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm Ashan with Work Tough Gear. We're gonna cover uh, my design, aptly named the Amish John. All right, uh, and just like everyone else, I want, I prefer big knives, and so I want to carry one knife. Okay, some people say the right tool for the right job is the most convenient. Um, I say one tool for everything is the most convenient. One's not better, one's not worse. That's just how I do things, and you can do things your own way. So I wanted a knife that for me was just the right size and then over the years I found that about nine and a half inch blade with a choil was really where uh, really where I shine where I can still do the chopping where I can still do like some some middle work and some fine work um, right up here you keep there's no sweat so you keep a, the spine nice and flat so you're not digging in your thumb with the push cuts and you get far enough on the knife so you still have plenty of control and plenty of balance uh, I wanted, I wanted a four, a nice fat four, an old school four, like you would see in the old marbles knives, rather than uh, uh, Work Tough does a more, tr a, a different style four, as you can see on some of the other knives, and this has uh, kind of been somewhat difficult in the production process, figuring out the process, and then the, the time factor of actually doing it. Um, but what I ultimately want to do is, in comparison with some of these other knives, Zeke's Nomad Camp Knife is 28 ounces. The Puzan Wilderness Bowie comes in at 30 ounces. And I wanted something that was, that was less chopper driven and more, more knifey. It's very nimble, very agile. Like, it, like a, uh, I like to compare an, uh, a Hoonglis, an Essie Hoonglis with a Becker BK9. The Becker BK9 was definitely more wieldy, lighter, more nimble, and yet still had all the chopping ability uh, and, and, and all the same function, um, whether or not you like the handle. Uh, you edit that part out. <laughs> uh, and so this is this is my design. Uh, the Bowie style with, with a deep four. Uh, it comes in, this one right here comes in at 27 ounces, which isn't quite my target. We do have some changes. This one's still like the prototype phase. This is pre-production. Uh, what the changes that we have made? Number one, the fuller will be just maybe a millimeter taller, so a little wider, <laughs> which will reduce some of the weight. Uh, this full, uh, the choil, we're going to add in. We're going to make it less deep, so more shallow. We're going to add some more material, about two millimeters there. Um, to give, for, for, for larger hands, for my hands this is fine, but for larger hands it probably be, it might feel a little bit of an emptiness there. So when I design this knife, the way I use large knives, for the most part I'm, I'm working with the choil. So I got my finger up here, this, this grip is my predominant grip, my secondary grip is when I'm chopping, so this is my number two priority and how it feels like this, and then my last priority is sadly how everyone holds a knife when they first pick it up okay like this all right and this for me is the least comfortable grip uh, it is the one that I don't ever use and it's also a point of change as we move forward is what we look at here as we look at the handle the palm swell is nice people say the palm swell is not nice but that's because we haven't made the change yet the palm swell is the right size it's just that the, the difference between the swell and this area here is too drastic. So we are going to fill in, fill in the handles a little bit, add a millimeter on both sides, so it's more comparable to the thickness here on the butt end, uh, and there's less, there's, there's a less, less of a difference between the two. So that when you hold it like this, the palm swell, um, isn't as pronounced in your hand and it's a more natural feeling as we move forward and so with with this design as is I I really like it I really dig it I think it's about 90% of what I want but with the changes moving forward we reduce the weight, of the weight slightly and adjust the handle in this grip that I don't ever use uh, I think I think we're gonna be right at about 26 ounces and hundred percent of what I want. So right now, right now we're still in the pre-production phase. This one 
we have two of these and my own personal prototype and but in the production process right now Vic is most of the way through about 150 of the first run so we're working on this bevel uh, got another small process to do then it goes to heat treat and then we'll be finishing up the final product and uh, we're looking to see these tentatively uh, I would say early fall or into the fall that's what I would go with yeah all right so once again this is Amish John work tough gear uh, knives made by Vic Lynn this is the Amish John right here says on the shirt this is the knife you want remember don't believe everything you hear unless you hear it from here. I'm a shine.